you follow my vlogs, you know I spent Christmas with my cousin in my hometown. It's a great little town supporting active lifestyle in all seasons. Like this particular ice skating place has been around since I was a kid. But returning back to my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she and Snoopy has this special relationship. <laughs> and when they hang out, everyone else knows about it. <laughs> Although we had such a fun stay there, it was time for us to leave. No, tag. Tag at the supper, to pass one wag. Gar, tirama. There's not a clot. Shocks this bossing. No, she does, but an erat sour cocoa. Broke. Returning back to, yes, my brother's wife's place, and there is that epic van again. One good thing on a countryside, you can just walk around in your pajamas. Whoa. Oh my God, wow, this is the dream, I tell you, this is my dream. Gems and compots and wow, and my potatoes, oh nice, nice. We'll grab some little ones. jar of this one maybe I think it's tomato or something okay that will do for the dinner tip 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 no, 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 no. Chippy, 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 chippy. Mmm, gar shakes. Mmm. Super. Gar shakes. Yes, nice. Is nice? Is nice? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for my dinner. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Eggies. Yes, we have eggies. No, wait. Eggies for Lindens. Yes. I just love being in the countryside. One of the reasons that there is less of artificial and more of natural. Also for the privacy and freedom, which allows one to be who they want to be without anybody asking stupid questions. Now do it. 
also for the vast open spaces where me and Snoopy can wander around, exercise, explore or simply hang out and enjoy life in a much slower pace than the one people experience living in towns and cities. And here I was trying to get a good shot for the thumbnail for one of my videos on my second channel. Go check that video out, I put the link on the screen, I guarantee you will forget all else. <laughs> no way! <laughs> we need to make a thumbnail! <laughs> oh, good smokies! Ay, 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 good smokies! Ay, good smokies! Ay. <laughs> And we just love forest paths. There's so much woodland in Latvia that one of the income streams they have comes from supplying other countries with wood in the form of firewood, kindling, building materials, etc. So it's very common to see marked trees and people working in forests, whatever the weather. And just before the snow melted away, I just had to try this. Last time I was skiing when I was in secondary school. Anyways, moving on. As the temperatures rose, snow started to melt fast, but by dropping down to below zero at nights, it was a perfect condition for the formation of crazy, the most slippery ice on the roads, making them very dangerous for walking and driving. So it's like mirror. They call it mirror in Latvia. If one hasn't got studded tires, the driving can become pretty adventurous, to say the least. Traktor so ne slid, ne? Un kā vēl slid? Slid, jā? Mani busiņš lielais. Es nemaz neriskēju braukt, tāpēc es ar kājām iet uz veikalu tagad. But it can also be great fun, as long as you know what you are doing. <laughs> wow. The black eyes. not gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> Good luck to you. And here I want to say again, as long as you know what you are doing. Look at this. It's breaking. 
and he's sitting there. Although Latvians have passed the knowledge over from generations every winter, there are still dozens of people reported drowning by walking on ice on rivers and lakes. And then the snow returned, making me wanting to go and visit one special place. But I will tell you all about it in my next video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Comment if you have any winter stories to share with us here. It would be interesting to find out. Love and peace and see you next time.